Hello and welcome to another edition of the Connected Church News for leaders of non-profits, churches and faith-based organizations. I'm Nachi Lazarus and this week we have news from Instagram, YouTube, Google, Twitter and a social media industry report from Social Media Examiner. This is the show where we bring you the top five digital and social media news you need to know for this week in less than five minutes. Let's get started. Our first big news of this week is about the release of 2020 social media industry report by Social Media Examiner. Every year, Mike Stelsner, the CEO of Social Media Examiner, releases this report and this is the 12th annual edition. This is personally uh, one of my favorite social media industry reports simply because of the wide range of topics it covers and most importantly because this uh, has inputs based on marketers who are actually practicing in the industry. That's what makes this report more valuable and I think I have a copy of all the year's reports I think. Uh, so this is uh, uh, something that I highly recommend that you as a leader of nonprofit church or a ministry download and have a look because this not only talks about trends but it also talks about how people are using various social media channels, how advertising is working, how uh, uh, technologies like chatbot and TikTok are performing, what is coming. It kind of indicates uh, the future uh, trend of social media. So I highly recommend you check it out. I will link to the download page in the show notes. You can visit that page and download a copy of the report for yourself. Our next news is about new features on Instagram. Earlier this week, Instagram released a set of features among which uh, the highlight is your ability to uh, determine who can tag you on their Instagram posts. Have you ever had this uh, experience of people tagging you in random posts just to get your attention or uh, maybe for spam and so on? Uh, now you can avoid that. Instagram gives you three options. One is you can allow tags from everyone or you can say only people I follow, people you follow can tag you or you can say no one can tag you. So these are in line with what has been happening on WhatsApp and in other Facebook assets, so that's good. Uh, the other two features are also interesting. You have the ability to highlight a comment among all the comments you receive, you can pick one and highlight it, or you can also bulk delete comments. So these are the features that have been released by Instagram. Looks like a set of useful features, so do check it out. Our next news is from Twitter. Last week, Twitter made an announcement about its threaded replies and how they are testing a new layout. They have been testing threaded replies and threaded conversations for quite some time and this recent announcement comes uh, with a visual, major visual move where Twitter is adding a line, a visual line to indicate how the replies are structured. Uh, the announcement says some of you in iOS and web will see a new layout for replies with lines and indentations that make it clear who is talking to whom and to fit more of the conversation in one view. So basically uh, the lines will indicate to you who has replied to who, whether it's a reply to the main tweet or it's a reply to one of the replies, existing replies. So very interesting move from Twitter. Wonder if uh, how people will uh, receive it and how it will take off with Twitter users. Our next big news of this week is from YouTube. Last week, YouTube released an article talking about the new tools that they have released for advertisers, but specific to television screens and content that is consumed on television screens. So I wanted to bring this to your notice because this indicates a big trend. And the uh, article talks about how people spend more time at home because of COVID and the lockdown. And uh, as they spend time at home, they're consuming more and more content on their bigger television screens. There is one statistic that says uh, Comscore report highlights that over 70 million US households are now streaming content on their connected television screens and YouTube occupies uh, the biggest share of that. And uh, th there are many other interesting statistics. I highly recommend you check it out. And I also want you to think about how your content as a nonprofit church or ministry is fine-tuned for television viewing uh, because more people are viewing it on bigger screens and is your content optimized for that? Do you have a strategy to reach people on television? Are you advertising uh, using television as a medium? Because this article talks about tools that YouTube provides to facilitate that. So do check it out. Hey, I want to take a minute to remind you to subscribe if you have not done so already so that you don't have to miss any new weekly edition and you can stay on top of the news at all times. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now let's get back to the news.
Our final news of this week is from Google. Earlier this week, Google made an announcement about a new feature called Support Links, which are made available to organizations. Uh, and organizations can use this link to communicate to their customers how they can support their business or their organization by making a donation or by making a gift card available and so on. And Google is not the only one doing this during this time of COVID where uh, businesses and organizations need support. Uh, even organizations like Facebook and Instagram have features uh, that are trying to help small businesses and organizations raise funds, raise donations and so on. So here is the interesting thing I want you to note as a leader of a nonprofit or a ministry. Uh, social media is again starting to think about connecting people People with organizations you know with uh, with paid advertising and organic going away and all that it was more about people you know even you know some time ago Mark Zuckerberg came back and said it's about the people and it's not about the organization but what is interesting is now they're starting to think no it's not just about the people you also have to take care of the organization so that trend is kind of very interesting and something for you to note and see if this could benefit your nonprofit or ministry in any way well, that's all I have for you this week. Thank you for joining me. I truly appreciate it. If you'd like to dig deeper into any of the stories that I talked about, we've got all the source links and the details in our news page, nachilazarus.com slash news. Do check it out. I'll see you next week with another set of news items. Until then, you stay connected, stay blessed and stay safe. God bless you. Bye-bye.